Hello there and greetings my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alicia and if you aren't new, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today I'm gonna share with you guys my Winco haul. It is a little bit on the um, higher end today, um, but I will explain that once I share with you guys everything that I picked up and of course all the prices will be on the screen. So it's not a massive haul, but you can probably tell why it's a little bit higher in price. But let me just share with you what I got. So I have some dried pinto beans. I'm gonna make some refried beans in the Instant Pot. I actually just shared a recent video of a what's, a what's for dinner video, and I shared a really super easy Instant Pot refried beans recipe, so I always wanna keep this on hand. I did pick up some honey crisp apples. I wanted to make sure that we have plenty of produce over there, so I got some of those. I have a handful of dates. I just thought, I don't know why, these just sounded so good so I did pick up a little handful of them I love that they offer these in the bulk section I don't think I've ever noticed them in the bulk section before all right also in the bulk section I did get some cranberries so I am kind of already prepping for Easter because I am gonna be out of town like literally two days before Easter and I figured okay let's start crossing some of the things off my grocery list because I am hosting Easter here at home so um, I got some cranberries now these are gonna go into a broccoli apple salad it is so yummy it's a perfect like Easter side dish it's crispy tangy slightly sweet it's just it's perfect I will post that link down below if you are in need of a broccoli apple salad I got you covered back here I did get two little containers of blueberries because we did go through all of our Costco blueberries already I did pick up some ice cream for my kids some cookies and cream and some chocolate chip cookie dough I'm actually making them some pizza tonight some pepperoni and olive pizza I try to make them pizza twice a month and then once a month we'll pick up pizza that's what we generally try to do um, so I'm just gonna give them this as a treat for dessert tonight. I did get a bunch of frozen vegetables here. I have some peas, peas and carrots, some mixed veggies, and then, then like a California blend. Why is this called a California blend? Anybody know the reasoning behind that? Let me know, please. Up front, I have some yellow rice, some saffron yellow rice. So I was going through some of my very old recipes that I used to make back in the day and I found one that was so easy and it takes this, some of the frozen veggies and some chicken uh, legs and that is what one of the meals I'm gonna be making this week it's like ridiculously easy and I completely forgot about it so looking forward to having that this upcoming week so I did get some spaghetti my husband is actually going out of town next week for a few nights so it is the perfect time to have spaghetti and meatballs he is not a fan of spaghetti pasta but we love spaghetti and meatballs so I'm gonna definitely be making my kids some of that this upcoming week but also notice the packaging is so different. Are they trying to go retro? I love this, it's so, so cool. Uh, back here, I always like to have fettuccine in my pantry just for quick, uh, for quick meals, along with egg noodles. This is always one of the two staples I like to have in my pantry because I know that I can whip up something really quick that doesn't involve like a ton of ingredients or a ton of work either. So love to have these guys in my pantry. What I am gonna be making uh, this week too, because my husband, like I mentioned, is gonna be going out of town. He cannot have a bunch of chili, and I absolutely, like 100% love chili. So I don't get to make it often. I have some leftover bell peppers from Costco that I need to use, and this is the perfect opportunity to do that. I had mentioned, I don't know what video it was, it might have been my Costco video, where I shared a silicone mold that I got off of Amazon that you can put like soups and broths in and chilies in to freeze and like pre-portion it. So I'm gonna make a whole bunch of chili, give it to my kids that night, along with like some cornbread, and um, freeze the remaining chili so I can have it for future lunches. I'm so excited. I did get a pineapple for my kids, they love pineapple, and I bought a bunch of different pantry items. Like I mentioned, I wanna keep all this stuff in my pantry, so yellow mustard. Um, actually, that's gonna go into some barbecue bacon beans that I make every single year for Easter. It is phenomenal. I hope to share that recipe with you guys very soon. And so for my chili, these are the beans that I like going in my chili. Oh, I didn't even mention, so I'm putting ground turkey into my chili. Usually I use ground beef. We're running low on ground beef, and I'm trying to wait for our next Costco run, so I wanna use ch uh, turkey in that. So anyway, coming back up here, in my turkey chili, I'm gonna be including some kidney beans, white beans, and some pinto beans, along with Carol Shelby's Texas chili like seasoning packets. That is phenomenal, so it's gonna be super easy. I'm not gonna have to measure anything out. This is already measured for me. 
I did get a bunch of tomato paste, tomato sauces. These are for um, no apparent reason. I just want to make sure if I'm making like Mexican rice or a tomato sauce. Oh, I am making spaghetti sauce. So uh, these will definitely be used. And then I do have three cans of diced tomatoes. That is for my chili as well. Some barbecue sauce for my bacon beans. Every once in a while, I'll like make my own homemade barbecue sauce and put it in the beans, but I know I'm gonna be pressed for time, like getting returning from my trip, so this is just gonna be a big helper. Also for those bacon beans, I'm using four large, I think these are 28 ounce cans of just straight up pork and beans. I have two cans of sliced olives. I mentioned I'm making some pepperoni pizza tonight. My kids love having olives on their pizza. Down below that is a crushed, I hope this is crushed, yes, crushed tomatoes. That is for my homemade spaghetti sauce. I do have one jar of, of Rayo's marinara sauce in my pantry, but I wanna hold off on that. I can make my own marinara sauce for our spaghetti and meatballs. I always pick up heavy cream either for my coffee in the mornings or for sauces. So I'm gonna come back down over here. Okay, so let's get into the meats of it all. So I do have two packages of chicken drumsticks here. One of the packages, I'm gonna take about eight or nine to 10 chicken drumsticks out of here and I'm gonna use that for my arroz con pollo and the rest I will freeze because I'm gonna barbecue this up for our Easter lunch. And then down here I do have one package of chicken breast. I mentioned a long time ago that when I go to Costco so uh, it's sometimes difficult when you buy their chicken, their chicken breasts in the pouches. Sometimes I need like three breasts, but I don't want to use like two whole pouches because then I'll get four chicken breasts usually. But what I like doing is I like to freeze these guys individually so that I'll just end up using only one pouch from Costco and then I'll just take out one individual chicken breast from my freezer so that I can use three chicken breasts. I hope that makes sense. I also got... For the barbecue bacon beans, some pepper bacon. This is so delicious, so yummy. If I can never get bacon at Costco, this is my next go-to. Of course, Trader Joe's, their Black Forest bacon is phenomenal, but I'm gonna actually freeze this for the bacon beans. Sour cream, I always wanna make sure I have sour cream in my fridge. Of course, I'm gonna be using this on my turkey chili. Um, I can't tell you guys how excited I am for that turkey chili. Uh, there's supposed to be four. Oh, I believe one fell out of my car. It's in the car right now, but some of these little uh, knots and poisonberry cookies and strawberry cookies. These are my husband's favorite. That, I got them mainly for him. I saw them as soon as I walked into the store. I grabbed him a few of those. I did get some oven brown turkey. Now I still have some meat left in our fridge from my, uh, from my Costco haul, but this is just a beef up our deli meat. I'm also gonna be making a brisket. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be enough. I'm thinking I might have to go buy a smaller one, but I love making a slow cooker brisket and then roasting it, like not roasting it, but broiling it, broiling it off in the oven at the very end. I don't think this is gonna be enough. I did get it for right now. If I need to, I will probably go to our local butcher and get like a smaller one just to make sure I have plenty of meat. I got a whole bunch of onions and along with onions, I got some garlic too some celery, of course that's gonna go into my chili. I did get one cucumber for my kids like snacks, for their lunches. I still have a couple of the mini cucumbers left, still from Costco, because Costco wasn't that long ago, so I still have, I'm still pretty good on all of the produce, but I, I always wanna make sure I have cucumbers because they love them. Uh, I did need to stop in the bulk section for a bunch of seasonings. So I got some dill right here, smoked paprika and ground mustard. And these are just gonna go back into the jars that I have in my pantry. I have some Asiago bagels. They make some great Asiago bagels if you can't get them at Panera Bread. These are so, so good. And then we did actually go through all, my entire tub of spring mix from Costco. So that I did need to replenish this week. All right, my friends, and so that is it for this Winco haul. I try to make it as short as possible because I know I can be long-winded. Sorry about that. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe because I would love to have you around, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.